1781. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart had just turned 25 and began a new exciting life as a freelance musician in Vienna. Liberated from years of near slavery at the provincial court of Salzburg, the young composer was thrilled with the endless opportunities offered by the big city, the mecca of the European music world. Mozart's strategy was to conquer Vienna in the triple capacity of composer, virtuoso pianist, and sought-after teacher to the aristocracy. And what could be better than composing brilliant keyboard works, performing them in public, and inviting his brilliant young students to join him on stage? In November 1781, Mozart gave the first of his Vienna performances to showcase his multi-talent gifts, all in one. The program included a Viennese premiere of his Concerto for Two Pianos and Orchestra, and a world premiere of his newly composed Sonata for Two Pianos, both works performed by him and by his star student, Josefa Auenhammer. In a letter to his father, written the day after, Mozart described the concert as a great success and promised to send the scores to Salzburg. Shortly thereafter, probably following the success of the Auenhammer concert, Mozart began work on a new composition, focusing again on the attractive combination of two pianos. But unfortunately, this time only a fragment of it reached our hands. This fragment includes an entire laghetto introduction of 35 bars and a considerable segment of an allegro movement, including a full exposition section of 74 measures. The manuscript was written on two pairs of staves, which probably indicated an intended scoring for two keyboard instruments. Other than that, we know nothing about this fragment, and its exact nature remains a true mystery to this day. Did Mozart ever complete it? Was it supposed to be a part of a larger composition or stand in its own right? And last, but certainly not least, what was its exact intended instrumentation? Was it actually a shorthand sketch planned for a larger ensemble? Perhaps another concertante work for two pianos and orchestra following the success of his recently presented double concerto. Shortly after Mozart's death, his widow Constanze approached a respected Viennese composer and priest, Abbe Maximilian Stadler, and asked him to complete some of her late husband's fragments. The Larghetto and Allegro was among them. Stadler added the missing development section and constructed a strict recapitulation, based almost note for note on Mozart's original exposition. The completed fragment was thereafter forgotten and was rediscovered as late as 1963 in a remote castle in Moravia. Coincidentally, it was in this very castle that the shooting for the famous movie Amadeus was taken. 
All these years, the manuscript was mistakenly attributed to Mozart's contemporary, renowned opera composer Christoph Willibald Gluck. Since its rediscovery, a number of pianists and musicologists attempted to compose their own completions for the work, most notably Paul Badurascoda and Robert Levin. All these completions were written for two solo pianos under the assumption that this was Mozart's original intent. The novelty of the version presented in this new Hyperion recording is therefore primarily in its instrumentation. Mozart's fragment shows a constant interplay between passages that sound pianistic and others that seem genuinely orchestral. This constant role-playing game is one of the strongest trademarks of the concerto style, especially in Mozart's writing. So the possibility that the fragment was meant for two pianos and orchestra seems quite logical and definitely worthwhile exploring. But there is more. Modern research shows that Mozart's choice of keys was always very specific and very deliberate. The key he chose for this fragment, E flat major, is hardly ever used for solo piano and never used for piano duets. But for a concerto with orchestra, this was his most popular key, having written no less than nine different concerto works, of which four were for one or two pianos with orchestra. Putting all this together was quite a jigsaw puzzle and required the construction of all the missing parts. And so, a new development section based on Mozart's own ideas was composed, a cadenza and a short coda were added, and the tutti-like passages were orchestrated in the spirit of Mozart. The English Chamber Orchestra and Hyperion Records joined forces with the Multipiano Ensemble based at Tel Aviv University's Buchmann Meta School of Music. Together, they present Mozart's complete oeuvre for multi-hand piano and orchestra, the famous concerti for two and three pianos, alongside a world premiere of this new version of A Lost Treasure.